Never trust that the Sierras will be safe. Always prepare for the worst. Chris Bellizzi first climbed Half Dome in 1978. He said the weather can change quickly in Yosemite and the weather can be the difference between life and death. And if a storm comes in, you don't go for it because the higher you get exposed, the more you'll get lightning strikes. The National Park Service said a hiker who was with another person fell to his death during a thunderstorm Monday afternoon. He fell from the cables on Half Dome. The reason there's cables there in the first place is because it is too steep for uh, most people to climb up or hike up or scramble up. Hans Flooring has climbed Half Dome 20 times. He talked with us from the hospital where he just had surgery to repair two broken legs after falling 20 feet from El Capitan. Even if the hiker or climber had sticky rubber, if it did start raining, that rock's going to become very slippery and you'll probably end up with only your hands gripping the cables is going to be your safety. Michelle Meyer hiked up the cables two years ago. Extremely steep and you're holding on so tight. She admits there was an element of fear. Yeah, it was pretty nerve wracking more so than I thought it would be, but afterwards it was the best feeling ever. Monday's death was the first on the Half Dome cables since 2011.